Hello, my friends. My name is Anki, and welcome to my time at Sandrock. I am so excited to be starting this game. This is not a first impressions. This is a full playthrough. I did originally want to make a first impressions of this game, and I started to record one, I don't know, four, five months ago, and I was so taken by how fun the game was that I was like, no, we're gonna do a full playthrough. And then unfortunately life gets in the way and it was just hard to finally, to get around to making it. Well, here we are. My work is going to be light for the next two months, which means we have plenty of time to start a new game and I can't wait. I played my time at Porsche. I really, really liked it. This game has its full launch right now. It's in early access. This full launch comes out in September. Couldn't be a better time to start playing this game. Looks like from the trailers, this game has one hell of a story. Um, name Max. One name to rule them all, Unky. All right. Okay, quite grunty. We could do no voice. We could go mute. <laughs> These are... <laughs> These are hilarious. Okay. I kind of like this one. Yeah, sounds real serious. Okay, next. <laughs> uh, character creation time. Skin. Uh, these are all beautiful. I played my time at Portia, and uh, this looks like, you know, same company, secondary skin color. What does that mean? Oh, I can be green. Oh, wow, I can just be a frickin' uh, blueberry, huh? Wow, this is wild. Oh my gosh, well, we're gonna waste, can I just be like a ghost? Not really, brightness. I was kinda hoping that I was like spooky, spooky ghost color with that. Uh, these are bizarre. I don't really feel like being some distracted, you know, skin tone. Um, main color and uh, what's the difference here? Do these blend together? Is that what it's telling me? Okay, so it appears like when I click on this, it's just picking a main color and a secondary color. So these must blend together in some way. Uh, we'll just go with that. That works for me. Face shape. Oh, we're going to spend just way too much time doing <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> chin width. We can make a wide chin. Um, okay, well, let's start with the default dude and see how drastic this gets. Okay, so you can give them quite the chin. That looks normal. Chin length. What happens if we just make them freakish? That's actually a very bold jaw. That's not terrible. Um, not unattractive, actually. Hair. Okay, so we can go bald way less. Okay, so when I did this the first time, uh, not that ponytail. There was another one. Nope. Okay, oh, I see. Hairstyle. I liked this so much because it reminded me of Yasuo. And if you've watched my Ruin King, a League of Legends playthrough, Yasuo is such a great character. He's so emo. Oh, wait, I think it's more like this. There we go. I do kind of like this with the ponytail. This is like kind of the Chrono Trigger hair. Here we go. This is a fun fantasy for me to play. I'm not going to lie because uh, I am, I look like this. <laughs> well, not like that. <laughs> I look like this. <laughs> so... <laughs> Just role-playing hair. Oh, what? There's more down here. Oh, basic hair color. Okay. Okay. We're gonna probably... We're probably gonna go with this. I just love it. Um, is it weeby? Maybe a little bit. Do I care? No. Hair. Basic hair color. Um, let's give it... It's a little too tan. There we go. Brown. Can we give it like an auburn color? Yes. That's a little more yellow than needed. Ooh, actually, I like that blue. Just a little bit of blue in there. That's fantastic. There we go. Let's see. Great. Eyebrows. Don't need... I can give them ins <laughs> insanely long eyebrows. Eyebrow thickness. I don't really need, like, super thick eyebrows. Here we go. Confirm, eyebrows, eyes. Oh, that's terrifying. 
Oh, I don't like any of these. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, we're just gonna go with normal. Eye color, I tend to really enjoy like sled dog eyes. Why are my pupils so wide? I highlight color. Okay, what does this mean? Oh, I see. It's like the little bit of color. Well, can we just make him? There we go. Uh, blue on blue. There we go. Pupil color. No, we want pupil to be black. Can we do smaller pupils, though? These look like... That's just the whole... No, that's not the pupil. That's the whole ass eye. Come on. Pupil spacing? <laughs> this... <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> I've ruined him. <laughs> no, <laughs> is there a default? Let's please fix that. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, well that was fun. That was horrifying actually, is what that was. Um, pupil color, so what does this mean? So yeah, you can... I don't really know that I like the look of that. I really wish these pupils weren't so gigantic and these pupils weren't so small. None of these look natural. Uh, right about there looks good. The eye height, eye distance. Actually, that doesn't look too bad close, does it? I guess about neutral. Pupil size. Actually, that giant pupil size, that doesn't actually look that bad. Okay, so spacing. This obviously is nightmarish. But let's see, what if we made these a little smaller? Terrifying. There we go. Do I like that? I can't tell if I like this or not. Ears. No, nope, those don't look normal. This is so interesting. I don't like the Dumbo ears. What if we just go back to neutral? Make them a little lower. Does that look right? No, I think they look better tucked up into the hair. Nose. I don't know that I need to change this nose at all. I sort of like it. Bridge width. Let's see. Okay, so we can give him a wider nose. Bridge depth. What does this do? <laughs> Smaller nose. Nose height. Right about nose length. You can give him an Usopp nose. That's fun. You don't really need a super long nose, actually. I do not know if I like this character's eyes or not. They're just bizarre. <laughs> They're just like too close to the uncanny valley. Okay. Um, the nose just needs to be a little bit bigger. There we go. Mouth. Facial hair. <laughs> if I knew that I could have a mustache this whole time, we're not doing any facial hair. Uh, face tattoo, really? Oh, I can get a sick scar, that's cool. A little, a little cute little kitty cat. Uh, ooh, I like the freckles. I don't hate that at all. Uh, I don't feel like um, any of these are necessary. Maybe a dope little eye scar that's like, no, not gray. We want it like close to the same. Just, just barely, right? That's as close as the scars we'll get. Eyeshadow. Uh, under eyeshadow. This can make me look uh, exhausted, right? Here we go. No, I don't like that. We're gonna go with zero. Blush. I don't think we need any makeup. Although, putting a little color in the lips is never a bad idea, right? That's not the right color. 
actually. There we go. Is that the right color? Lipstick highlight color? I kind of just want these the same. I don't really want it to look like lipstick, but I do want it to look like I have a mouth. <laughs> Nope, that's a little too, there we go. I don't know, do we like it? Do we like it? I think we do. I think we do, I like my character a lot. Look at me, I love my Yasuo hair. Definitely weaving it up. I think my eyes, my eyes are the one thing that disturbs me a little bit. Eye size, eyes rotation, but I really don't have, I guess pupil size, these could be a little bit smaller. There we go. That's a little less alien-like. It is really hard to nail down the eyes. Maybe there's just no way of doing it. Let's hit confirm. We've been at this for like 10 minutes. Choose your birthday. Uh, let's see. Spring, summer, autumn. Are we, when were we born? When were we born? Okay, what are these holidays? Can I tell? These look like holidays, right? There's a cow. Can I be born on cow's day? Music, uh, ghost day, that's fun. I want to be born in spring on the 23rd. That is the day I want to be born. You really make your birthday day 23 of spring? This game begins on the first day of summer. So it'll be a really long time before I have a birthday. That sounds fun. We get to work up to our birthday. Let's get into it. If I remember correctly, one of the first characters we make has some of my favorite voice acting uh, that I've ever heard in a game, and I absolutely adored them. So let's see if that still delivers. It's been a while, so I hardly remember anything. Okay, well, the hair's already bugging out. That's great. What a great start. Maybe should have checked the graphic settings, huh? Is my hair going to do that this whole time? Ooh, mysterious cowboy. I love the horns on the hat. Okay, well, I'm glad the hair isn't bugging out still. Unky! <laughs> Huge letters. <laughs> Great. Howdy. Howdy! Hi there, you must be the new builder. I'm Ian, the other new builder. I just got here a week ago. Nice to meet ya. Well, nice to meet you too, Mion. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. You got it. This way. This way, okay, hold on. First, we have to fix a few controls. Okay, we upped the graphics to extremely high and uh, we inverted the controls. Things that I need to do. Do I have a run? I have a jump? I have a run. Howdy there, I'm Yan, <laughs> president of the San Rock Commerce Guild. <laughs> this Pleased is the guy. to make your acquaintance, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> this is the guy I was talking about. I can't tell if he's gonna be my favorite character or if he's like the most evil man in the world. <laughs> I like his outfit though. I'll be overseeing you with Mian, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as um, a buddy. That's your uh, uh, supervisor. All right, Yawn. <laughs> this here's Mason. He's retiring. It's, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway, see that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? That's absolutely swell. Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. Look at this guy. This guy is so sick of this dude, right? He's looking at him like, <laughs> I, if I could kill you and get away with it, I would. Look at these daggers. <laughs> he's, he's, no wonder he quit. He just can't stand another second of this. Uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Um... Well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is yours now. 
This is a man who's uh, been defeated by life. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of heart. So you're telling me you were terrible at your job. I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the blue moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my yakmel milk on. <laughs> get my yakmel milk on. <laughs> so this guy's like, uh, here's the shop. It's a freaking dump. Uh, good luck. I'm going to go get hammered on yakmel milk until I leave. Bye. <laughs> Okay, great start. <laughs> well, he always was a bit awkward, mind you. <laughs> anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. Okay. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's uh, frowned upon, anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. Where did the driftwood come from? We're in the middle of the desert. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Fantastic. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and crafted at your work table. All right, our first assignment. Making one for yourselves. You'll be needing it right away anyway. Cool, let's do it. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you there. <laughs> why, why, why did he end like that? No rush, see you there. <laughs> he really makes me nervous. Like, do I want to go there? It is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. Well, the last time I checked, it was literally within, uh, <laughs> within walking distance and we could see it. So the chances of me getting lost are pretty low. But, uh, you know, Mion, let's just hang out. That doesn't sound like a bad thing. I will beat you there. Mason's workshop. Oh, we are changing that right away. Hmm. Kind of slim pickings. But at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. Fantastic. You know, Sandrock is still well known across all free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Cool. So if you have never played my time at Portia, uh, fun universe. Basically, we are in a post-apocalyptic time where there was once massive metropolis cities. Everything was incredible. But then something wiped out the whole world. It's been, I don't know thousands of years maybe no one really seems to know at least i never found out playing through my time at portia i didn't finish the game and we basically dig through the ruins and get old technology it's very very cool so that is the setting here once we have our pick hammers we can smash them up and get all the resources we need okay also i kind of wanted to say something to you privately go on um see the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Well, we can tell by the old Everybody builder. Everybody in Free Cities knows that. But I didn't hesitate signing that contract. Why? I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I, I love bet it. you feel the same way. <laughs> so let's make a promise, builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? You know what, Mion? I'm sold. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. Well, good luck. Okay, the new builder. I thought you were gonna go make a pick hammer. Oh yeah, get out of here. Okay, so let's see. Check your missions out. Let's see. The new builder. You're new to Sandrock. The best way to get your bearings is follow the guidance of your guild commissioner. Sandrock is built on the ruins of old world. Resources are often unburied and blown around by the wind. Try to find the materials you need from the junk piles around your workshop. So we need stone 
and wood from junk piles. Now let's take a look. Here's our inventory. We have a couple power stones. That seems nice. What's going on over here? Here is a map. Ooh, this is beautiful actually. Um, so chances are there's going to be a lot more to unlock. My home. Ooh, I like this a lot. Mission. You know what? We will poke through all of that a little later. Junk piles. There's a little indicator. Why am I walking? All right. Gather it up. What did I get? I got a piece of wood. Can we keep gathering from the same junk pile? Let's do it. There we go. We got ourselves all the wood we need. We need some stone now. What is going on with this little bird? What? I can chat with a bird? A stray pig-nosed owl nests in cacti? Cuckoo! Is this, uh, is this one of the characters of the game? I did not expect that. That's fun. Um, give him a gift. Dregs. This drab pile of material seems to be lacking in any distinctive characters. Even recycling it wouldn't result in anything. It might be used as a makeshift substitute for fuel, however. Uh, let's see if they like that. No, they hated that. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> why I expected anything else. Okay. Gather it up. Okay, so we are finding lots of wood, but not so much stone. Why am I only walking? Let's take a look at the controls. Okay, I like that a lot better. Uh, oh, this looks like stone. Let's see if we can get some... Uh, four stone, please. Nope, more crappy wood. All right, well, that is a little bit disappointing. We have letters from the developers, huh? As we said many times, Sandrock can't thrive without your help. With the new update, we hope to like... Da, 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 da. Oh, we got a lamp? Wow. Already getting goodies. For support da, 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 to show up. We like to offer you this small gift as a token of our gratitude. Cute lazy sofa. We'll take it. Okay, so we're getting some furniture from the makers of the game. This game, basic marriage functions. We can get married. All right. Well, I'm not too worried about any of that. What? <laughs> okay, hold on. Calm down. We don't need the lamp just yet. What we need is stone. Oh, there's a stone ax. What do you know? That means that I can probably go smack a stone and get myself some rocks. <clears throat> Wait, we have stone. How did I get stone? When in the world did I get stone? Okay, well, I thought that I didn't have stone and now I have it. Work table. Let's make this pickaxe finally. This filter bar lets you sort through items more easily. This list shows all the items you can make right now. There's just one. The number on the bottom shows you how many you already have, how many you can make, and the amount required. Okay, quick build. Let's build it. Pick hammer. Quality outstanding because I'm the greatest builder. Tool strength plus 10%. Stamina consumed. A special pick hammer that can not only dig for ore in the ruins, but can also be used to turn debris into usable materials. Click the blank space to exit. Okay, let's take a look at it. Ooh, it is pretty epic. Can I use, what is this? Dilapidated furnace, can I use it on this? I can't. Something tells me this is trash and I should just smash it to bits. Gather all them goodies. Take yoke, rope, talk to Yan. All right, let's go talk to Yan, our favorite person in the world. Can I steal this stuff? No. Had to ask. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Let's get some, clean up some trash. All right, we are making a difference already. Mion, did you see? I want to read this stuff. Is she going to have already beat me here? There he is. Look at this guy. Feet on the desk. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. <laughs> it is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. That's right. Next, let me tell you about the Recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the Recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You He's can so excited the about this. Recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the control panel at the assembly station. Okay, we get to use the assembly eh, station. Don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. I'm back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now. 
Okay, I am getting the feeling that this guy is happy just being a slumlord. He does not really seem to care. <laughs> what is this? Let's take a look. Commerce Guild Store. Oh, we can buy stuff. That's nice. Uh, I don't think he cares if Sandrock is a dump at all. He's just happy to be here, to be in charge, to have a desk that he can put his feet on, and to tell people what to do. Oh, there's Mason. Let's see how depressed he is. What's up, dude? This better be good. Ah, oh, nothing again. Great. You're going to get along swell here. What? Wow, that guy is not happy. Let's clean up this jump. What in the world is this? Is this a giant? Look at this camel. I can talk with the camel? Bruh. Awesome. Um, do I have anything cool to give this? You can just give them anything. Well, last time I gave somebody something, they were very unhappy about it. I don't have anything nice to give, so we're not going to give them anything. Okay, we need to craft a recycler. We need a stone trough, we need wood, and we need grinding saws. Let's take a look. This will be our task for today. Oh, we can, uh... Three. Chop this up. Okay, so different tools for different uses. Nice. And what in the world is that? Can I get this? No. Bummer. Maybe I could and I missed it. Okay, assembly station, let's take a look. This is where all of the main crafting happens. This is your assembly station. It tacks all of the larger machines you can make right now. You can only make a recycler. Okay. Recycler. So we need stone trough. We need 12 stone to make a stone trough. We need three wood and we need grinding saws, which means we need eight Dinas and two stone. So these are the things that we will have to make before we can make this. I believe these uh, ingredients here, right, can be made at the workstation. All right, assemble. So if we tell it to assemble, then it will put that right here. Now we have the wood, so I think we can come over here and place the wood down. Look at that. So let's see, we have a stone trough apparently, but we need another one. So we're gonna have to go get ourselves some stone. Now we have ourselves a pick hammer that we can do. So Dinus, I have no idea what Dinus is. Let's see, grinding saws. Let's see, a small stone with a common mix of sand and minerals, often, most often smelted into glass. So one's called Dinosaur, but the name was changed. I think if we just go smack rocks, we can get all of this stuff. So why don't we do that? And I believe that is what our pick hammer is for. Look at that. Stone, sandworm, demoness, dew. We got ourselves some dew and we got a sandworm. I have no idea what the sandworm does. Ooh, leveled up. I'll take it. Uh, we'll just smack a few more rocks. I don't remember exactly. Ooh, 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 ooh. How many, uh, yeah, this is hard, apparently. Uh, how many of the Dinas we needed? Looks like we have stamina. I think that might be enough. Let's go check. Let's go check. Grinding saws, how many did we need? I think we needed, oh, we need one more Dinas. Okay, okay, we'll do it. Hello, are there any rocks about? <laughs> Ooh, not that one. That's a hard rock. Where are the crappy rocks? Here we go. That should be enough. Ooh, we got some quartz. More experience. I guess I could level up just smacking rocks, huh? Uh... The art in this game looks beautiful. Look at this city. It looks fantastic. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, let's be very clear about what we need. We need one more. We need two grinding saws and one stone trap. Oh, we can see that in our little thing right there. So two grinding saws. There we go. Quick build and one stone trough. Go. This should be enough. Let's make it. Let's make our trash maker. Grinding saws. There we go, stone trough. We did it, now we can, okay, recycler. Outstanding, because I am a, an incredible builder. Q capacity, production speed plus eight, fuel capacity from assembly station, an essential machine that allows you to transform rubbish into usable ores and materials. Click the blank space to exit. Where did it go? Boop. Now I can pick it up, carry it over my head epically, and I can drop it down anywhere. Let's put it right here. Interact, what things can I throw in here? So this is all scrap that I guess you can gather. And I have some wood scrap. Why don't we recycle some wood scrap? 
in the working queue, you can manage what you're building and off it goes. This is how long it will take to finish. So it takes a couple minutes to turn wood scrap into actual wood. This is your fuel meter. You can check how much fuel you have or how much you need to. Do I have any fuel? Didn't they say that this dredge, wasn't this stuff good for fuel? Estimated supply time, there we go. Confirm, that should be enough. Two minutes, three minutes of fuel, let's go. All right, we'll let you do your thing. Talk to Yan. Let's go see what old Yanni boy has to say. Oh, here's a new character, Amira. Let's say hi. Oh, you must be one of the new builders. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Amira. I have the best selection of pottery and decors in town at the ceramic gate. Well, I can't wait to buy your pottery. Mason probably sold everything in his workshop when he moved out. So why don't you take this? It's my welcome gift. Oh, you didn't have... <laughs> Thank you. I will hold it to the sun in celebration of your kindness. <laughs> look, the world. I have a pot. <laughs> hey, Mason. Look, you don't have this. I got a pot. I got a pot. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's put that away. We Enough shenanigans. Let's go say hi to Jan. Let's go say hi to Jan. Oh. Uh... Look at him. Where are you going? I wanted to talk to you. Hey, there you are. <laughs> no, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our whole town to the ground? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That got dark real fast, Jan. The main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely uh, not ask me anything related <laughs> to building whatsoever. I do it. I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. <laughs> this guy is a total slumlord. He doesn't want to have anything to do with day-to-day -day operations. He wants to sit with his feet on the desk so and be feel you powerful. Have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and register your workshop? Okay, well, we can do that. Normally, the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda's taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Oh, where's oh, the mayor? You hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Eufaula Desert. <laughs> Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? <sighs> Say, she's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, I feel like there was a murder plot to take out the mayor just based on oh, that uh, statement by alone. The way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that when I could just uh, recycle them uh, to you? <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. Consider it a new employee uh, bonus uh, thingy. Well, Jan, anyway, I do appreciate hurry that. Hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. All right, let's go to City Hall. Becoming official. City Hall. Well, it's probably where the big question mark is. Oh, let's say hi to Heidi. Hey there, I'm Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Architect around these parts. Oh, really? Looks like old Mason handed you down a real fixer-upper of a workshop, huh? Well, lucky for you, I do plenty of fixing up. Come by my office sometime if you're looking to upgrade your workshop. abso freaking lootly Hey, whoa, 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 where are you going? Ah, you're a new builder, aren't you? Chaham, to be sure. I run by the stairs, the only general store in town. Nevertheless, I think you'll find our price is hard to beat. He's got quite the breathy voice. Oh, that's right. Matilda asked me to help you out, being new and all. And I thought of something I Ooh. think you're going to love. For the next seven days, everything in my store will be 50% off. Just for you, of course. Well, thank you so much, RVO. And did you just give me a chair? Everyone wants to give me furniture. Oh, <laughs> hold on a second. My inventory is getting out of control. I really don't need to be carrying around all of this nonsense. Uh, let's do this. Oop, maybe we can switch these. There we go. Uh, I do appreciate. Ooh, look, kitty cat. Captain, come here, come here. Okay, well, we don't have time to chase the cat. We got to go to the mayor. Uh-oh, what's about to happen here? Who goes there? What? <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were one of Logan's gang. Who in the world is this? <laughs> Silly me. You look nothing like an outlaw. Oh, man. Is that a compliment or an insult? And your arms are so 
skinny. Okay, calm down there, guy. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Yeah, well, I will be fine, I think. It is decided. I, the magnificent pen, the protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Uh, okay, well, let's do it. Splendid. Let's go. Let's go. Show me how to battle for my life. Oh, wow. Did you, you know build this? I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you Look out. Look at those cool weapons. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now, before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. Doesn't matter which. All the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Uh, we're obviously going to have to pick the giant sword. Okay, let's take a look at all these. Stone spear. Uh, average attack speed average, so this is slow. Here we go. We got stone daggers. These are cool. This one does big damage right here. A large sword made of stone. Its hefty design packs a serious punch. 10% chance to deal an extra point of break damage. 10% more damage when facing higher level enemies. Okay, that's cool. Critical chance plus six. Life steal plus 2%. Well, that's not bad. Uh, I am still going to thematically go with the great big sword. All right, how do we come, fight? Come and attack me. I won't fight back. Let me see what you can do. I thought you were going to teach me how to fight, and now you're just like having me attack. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Is that Ooh, all? These are great combos. Got? Don't tell. Okay, you can swing a weapon around. <laughs> We're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? Do I have a heavy attack? Let's find out. Um, let's see. Dodge, lock on target. Let's do that. Let's dodge. Okay, so I have a roll. That's nice. <laughs> did I just feel pain? You did. I am absolutely savage. Don't you know any other moves? I'm no. getting bored. This guy's insufferable. Now it's my turn. Uh oh. Let's get out of here. Dodge. Stand still, this won't hurt. I wonder if we can kill him. He is very strong. Here we go. Watch out for the tails. I can read you like a book, skinny arms. Skinny arms? Ooh, I'm probably not. Why am I not running? Here we go. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, you got me there. Enough. What? I grow weary of you didn't even give me a chance. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> and thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled, Never Mess with Pen. What an I asshole. <laughs> I sure had fun teaching it. <laughs> the first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. Well, what a total douchebag. I thought I was gonna get a combat lesson, but instead he just uh, beat the snot out of me for uh, no real reason. It's more a uh, Homelander than Superman there. Well, you look sweet. Why, well, hello there. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. Well, I am excited to meet you too, Matilda, and I'm excited to be here. here. Well, that means you must have passed Yen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. Yeah. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set. Can uh, I lodge a complaint about the guy in the cape out there that just punched the crap out of me? Workshop name. Let's see. Unkies. Emporium. Let's hope that's spelled right. Confirm. That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card from the City Hall store. Okay. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. 
whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. All right. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. <laughs> Work hard. Then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself, too, don't you know? I feel like if we had replaced Mason with, like, just uh, just like a golden retriever, you would have gotten more work out of him. Hmm. I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. We would never miss it. See you then. And congratulations again, Builder. May you bring Telesis to Sandrock. I don't know what this Telesis is. All right. Well, she was lovely. Uh, let's see. Should we go? Uh, oh, there's a dog. There's a doggo. Nemo! Hello. Woof, woof. Ditsy pet dog. I love Nemo. Bow wow. Uh, is there anything fun to give Nemo? Do you think he likes a worm? No. He probably wants a bone. Food scraps? Do you think he'd like this? Maybe not. I should be careful. I should probably make some decent stuff before I do anything else. Let's see. What time of the day is it? Ooh, it looks like it's getting late. Why don't we check in over here? Wanted Logan. Look oh, at this hey. shifty guy. Did you get a message from Yen saying, emergency, come now as well? I did not. I what's the emergency. I do not have any idea. I like that she can open the door with the force. Listen here, you lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with you. <laughs> Where's our oh. lift, huh? Oh, look, Rocky, old buddy, old pal. Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle beans. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. <laughs> I like you this guy. You understand how much money I'm losing here. <laughs> so now I gotta give you a beat down. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Wow. Uh, uh, wait, no. Sandrock is rough. Look, well, what I really meant is uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, uh, look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? No, no! You came at the perfect time! Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. Yeah, before you get killed. This is what you get for being a lazy, uh, sack, bud. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few, uh, months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. Uh, help out, uh, right? Yeah, oh, we'll do it. Yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that? Our first big job. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Let's see what. <laughs> oh, no voice line for this one. <laughs> Don't worry, we got this. And we have the Commerce Guild to support us too. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> See, they're up for it. Uh, what do you say, uh, buddy pal? I think that's a, a, a fair response considering that this guy was about to kick the crap out of this dude. <laughs> like, what if I can't do this? <laughs> He's just gonna beat the snot out of me. I've been in here five minutes and I've already gotten the crap beat out of me by one person All here. right, Yen. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Yep. Uh, Great. Matt Rocky. Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. All right. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to and... Hey, I'm not your pal. <laughs> if you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Fantastic. Normally we charge a weekly fee for access. But here, take a free one week pass. Deal. When you're done, install it for me as well. G already drew me up a diagram for the lift. So yeah, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here. Uh, I didn't expect Jan to be a builder. Uh, my uh, back was hurting. <laughs> uh, technically, he's a builder, but I don't think this guy could build himself uh, a cardboard box that he got from Amazon. Based on this 
diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use the furnace as well. All right. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. Oh, we're gonna nail it. Ooh, and I got a shirt? Can I put the shirt on right now? I wanna wear this shirt. Did I equip it? I did, that's not a bad looking shirt. I like that better than the other one. Okay, well, we got ourselves, wait, what's this question mark? Oh, it's you again. <laughs> I hate this guy. Say, <laughs> since I've got you, did I ever explain the uh, commission board to you? I think I can figure it out. <laughs> Dedicated to figuring it out yourself, eh? Well, good on you. The less time I have to spend training you, the more time I'll have for, um, you know, a big important uh, president. Sitting stuff. on your ass. I think you'll find the information you need in the Commerce Guild handbook on my desk. Check it out if there's something you're not getting. Ciao. Ciao. Okay. Well, look, here's some garbage on the ground. Let's clean it up. This can never be bad. What do we get? Ruined cloth. Well, I think this is the perfect time to end the video. Hey, Mion, why are you going near my, this is my place right here. Look at this, Unki's Emporium. Oh my gosh, it is going to be epic. Let's chat with her. I'm in the process of building a new furnace or two. The current lineup just isn't cutting it. How about you? Hanging in there? Where Hank? Well, we just walked out of the door and came here. So not much has happened since then. Wait, we can spar? Play critters? Okay, there's a lot to do. I can't wait to explore it all, but I think we will end the video right here, my friends. Thank you so much for walking, watching. Ooh, look, my wood scrap is almost done. That's cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really looking forward to digging into this game, discovering all of the clearly insane characters. <laughs> can we, okay, can we put this on our wall? We did get a bunch of furniture. I guess we should probably try it out. Uh, nope, there's a, oops, 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 oops. There's a lamp there. Uh, the walk is just a little slow for me. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. What about my other furniture? Let's try it out. What did we get? We got an absolute epic lamp and a cute lazy sofa. And we got this, uh, didn't somebody give us a pot? Where's the pot? Is that this? Oh, that is right. I forgot. Oh, and we got a chair. Look at this. We have all sorts of furniture. I forgot that furniture, this is one of the fun things about this game. Furniture gives you a stat boost. So there is a real incentive here to um, build and, uh, you know, fancy up your place. Okay, I wanted to put this next to, um, let's see, why don't we worry about the chair, the cute lazy sofa. Rotate is Q. How about right here? Pop. And then how about my lamp? Can I put my lamp next to this? What about in this corner right here? Perfect. Beautiful. My ceramic bottle. We're gonna spend so much time doing this stuff. I guess we just have a pot and a chair and then a lounge chair. Let's put this crappy chair down. This thing looks crappy. Okay, Q. There you go. <laughs> no. If a guest wants to come by, they can sit here on the opposite side of the room and we'll talk. <laughs> okay, I believe this is the kind of game where you save by going to bed at night. So that's what we'll do. Anyways, my friends, ooh, level three. Hey, check it out. I keep wanting to end the video and I keep getting distracted. That's the way these things go. I appreciate you so much, my friends. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Other than that, I'll bid you farewell. And I look forward to seeing you next time. End with the sun in our eyes. What about right here? What about this for a fade out? Look at that. Beautiful.